just wanted to say a few things. Today, this morning, I went to a breakfast establishment. I won't, um, I won't say who they are. The, the greeter, you know, she sat me at the table And, uh, you know, I, I waited there and figured out what I wanted, um, put my menu down so, so that way the waiter would know that I am ready. Well, I was probably sitting there for probably a good 15 minutes. And I, keep, I kept seeing my waiter go back and forth, back and forth, passing me, never saying anything. I expected to get a little bit of something like, hey, I'll be right with you. I'm sorry, it's really busy. Uh, but I just want to acknowledge that I know you're here. I would have been fine with that, but I didn't get any of that. I didn't even get, at, you know, someone to ask me, hey, do you want something to drink while you wait? Yeah, how about a coffee? That'd be great. I waited there, and after 15 minutes, I'm looking at the phone. I'm saying, I'm thinking, you know what? I, I'm done. Uh, I, I'm leaving. I'm, I don't want to wait here anymore. And it's not that I was being impatient. Um, I just expect a, a higher level of customer service now that I'm, I've been in the, the customer service field for a while. I go to the front. Uh, tell the tell the lady that sat me you know what I know it's busy you know I've been waiting here for 15 minutes I'm just gonna go ahead and take off and she apologized and I said it's okay it's all right and she said well how about if I just go ahead and get my manager and I said, that's fine, you can get your manager, but it's not gonna change the fact that I'm leaving. And she said, that's fine. So she gets the manager and and and, uh, and so I kind of pull her aside away from everybody else because I don't wanna, you know, complain in front of other customers. I just tell I told her what had happened. And she said, I'm I'm really, really sorry. I said, it's okay. You know, I was very nice about it. I'm not one of these customers that you know, this is ridiculous. How dare you? You run a horrible business and I'm never coming back because of this one incident because the world revolves around me and the world should start and stop on a dime just because I say so. I hurt my throat. Was I was just very nice and I just said, you know what, <clears throat> I understand that it's busy, but I haven't gotten my coffee. No one said, hey, I'll be right with you. None of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off. And she said, well, if you just hold on a minute, I can get you a free um, a free uh, meal. I'm not one to pass up free food. So I said, all right. Because first when you say food, I'm like, what? Food? But then when you add the word free, that's when my ears get perky and I say, huh? Free food? Free food? Like, I don't have to pay? Like, ever? In my entire life? Forever? Uh, but that's not the way it went. Um, so she said, you know, I can get you, you know, a free meal. And I said, oh, okay. And um, so as she goes back, I hear her not really yelling, but her voice got louder. You know, I mean, there's a difference between, hey, I'm gonna raise my voice now, and hey, I'm gonna become belligerent, and I'm going to start yelling at you. That's different. I hear her raising her voice saying, hey guys, there's a customer, he's leaving because we didn't get to him on time. She comes back out, and I look at her and she said, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. I'm sorry that nobody's gotten, was able to get to you, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you two free meals and you can take this to any enter business name here that you'd like to. 
so yeah she gave me two free meals uh, and that was not my intention you know if you guys have ever had like a, a bad experience um, uh, leave it in the comments below um, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel uh, that was my experience today have a good one and I will see you later gators <laughs>